Hey there guys, Milwaukee here from the Milwaukee Bedroom Studio, where today I'm going to be showing you how to use a very awesome tool called LEGO Digital Designer. If you don't already have it, go to LDD, as in dog, dot lego dot com, and it will take you to the download page, and just go ahead and download that, run the installer, and then um, let's go ahead and open it up, it'll have to load some things, but then after that, you can get right to it. So this is what it's going to look like when you open it. Uh, just just tell it that you want a free build and then it'll look like this. So for starters over here on the left hand side we have all of the different brick categories. So bricks, round pieces, you know, all that stuff you can see. You open it up, tons of stuff. Just every, like, just about every piece you could ever dream of is right here at your fingertips I guess would be pretty um, sensible to say tall pieces long pieces short pieces I mean every kind of piece that you could ever imagine which is really nice um, stuff like motors power functions stuff like that train tracks um, sloped pieces I mean everything you could possibly imagine is right here for you to use so Let's just grab a couple pieces out of here. Like, okay, let's just grab a couple of these. So, for starters, there is the clone tool up here. So if you use the clone tool, you click on the piece you want to clone, and it just creates another one, and another one, and another one. So, you can, you know, build stuff however you want with any of these pieces so that's the clone tool pretty simple to use um, next one is um, just the, just the cursor so you can select it and drag the piece where you want it and then so you don't have to hold down the mouse button you can simply just click it it'll place it or click it and you have to click and drag to pick it up but then you just click to place it down if you use your right mouse button, you can pan and tilt, so you can see all angles of your build, just like that. One of the cool things that I think about this is if you um, right click on a brick, it will change your focus point. So if you want to zoom in, you can change your focus point from this brick here to this brick over here. So you can zoom in to different pieces which I only found out recently which is a really nice feature because sometimes it's just annoying when you can't zoom in to what you're trying to build it, it's a long story but it can get annoying so then you can do multiple selection tool so you can just select the pieces that you want like that and they'll be highlighted and then you can just drag the whole thing you can stack it up you know whatever you want just like that. Connected selection tool. So if you click on one piece, it'll connect. It'll um, basically select all that th that it's connected to. So you can take that and drag that around since it was connected. So click that, and just like that, you can select pieces that are connected. You can also do color selection. I have not used this one. Oh, there we go. So basically you just click one color and it selects all of that color and then you can move it around just like that. Um, shape selection. Not really sure how you're supposed to use that. Let's try putting down a different piece. Like that or something. So, then if we go back to shape selection. Oh, okay. So, what that does is basically it just selects all pieces of that exact type. So if you want all of the 2x2 two two bricks selected, you can select all the 2x2 two two bricks and move them around. If you want color and shape, there's a tool for that. So if we put down a lighter color 2x2 two two brick, we can um, select the color and shape, click on it, and it will only select the same color and same shape of the brick that you clicked on which is cool 
So then the next thing, which I did here, you can change the orientation of your bricks by using the arrow keys, as you can see by my cursor there. So I'm just basically pressing the arrow keys, and you can turn the pieces upside down, and which won't really do much. Or I guess you can just put it upside down if you feel like it. So, you can use that for um, doing snot building, which is um, um, where the studs aren't on top like this. So, you can roll it on its side and stick it to the side of something. I think that's a pretty cool feature. I mean, there wouldn't be it wouldn't be a good Lego program if it didn't have that feature, which is awesome. So, um, next up, up here we have the hinge tool, which um, let me grab some technic pieces here. Let's get uh, let me see, mm -hmm. just like um, here, like this. Just put that up there, and put uh, one of like those on it, so you can connect it. Oh, let's uh, refocus. There we go. So you can connect it, but you can't hinge it. So if you do the hinge tool, select that piece, you can rotate it on that axis. So if it's just a piece like this, you can only rotate it. Um, basically on the one axis. If it's a ball joint, like a bionicle piece, you can move it in all directions. I find that's a little trickier, but um, it's a pretty nice um, way of doing it. You can also use a little like clock looking thing up at the top corner to move it around. You can like just pass it out doing circles like that. <laughs> but that's a cool one. And it kind of shows you the little green arrows of which way it's gonna turn. You can also put in an exact angle if you want. You can make it more or less, you know, whatever. Just like that. So then the next one is hinge align tool. I don't exactly know what that does. Um Okay, yeah, I don't remember what this does. I've not really used it. I don't really know, actually. Um, yeah, to be honest with you, I don't know what that tool does. Um, I'm sure I've used it before, I just don't know what it does exactly. Um, next tool is the flex tool. That is a fun one to play with. So if we go in, you can also have multiple um, tabs open at once. So we'll just get, um, I don't know, one of these, I guess. Put it there. And then go over to this one, the one with the little tube. And that will have, if you can see that little symbol right there, that will basically if it has that symbol it will that tells you that you're able to use the flex tool with it so let's use one of these a long flexible rod there we go put it upright put it in here like that, and then if we use the, nope, not that one, the flex tool. Hello? We should be able to bend it. Maybe not, actually. Yeah, no, maybe not. So, I guess we'll just go into the, de into the delete tool. It's just that, uh, Red X up at the top. Click that. Get ri gets rid of your piece. Let's see, we'll just find something else that we can use. Like, uh, oh yeah, here we go. 
that upright, stick that in there. Now I think we can use the flex tool on this guy. And like that, you can bend it around. I think that's a really nice looking animation. It won't quite reach down there, but that looks pretty cool. I, I personally really like that animation, the way that you can bend that. It looks pretty cool, if you ask me. So, that is the hinge tool. Next one, paint. That's a pretty easy one, just like um, on Microsoft Word or whatever. You can um, you can select a bl you can sur bleh, select a brick and pick the color. You can do a clear brick. If we go this one, we can do a red one of those a pink one of those you know you can just kind of pick the colors so that if you don't want to be precise or if you want to change the color or something part way through your build you can do that which is a nice feature instead of having to go and like take the piece out and like go put another one back in if it's a hard piece to get just right where it was you know it's a good thing to have next up is the hide tool um, you just select a piece and it gets rid of it. How you unhide things? Um, well, that's a good question. I don't know how you unhide them. Um, I guess we could do undo. So, there is an undo and a redo button up here at the top. Uh, you can undo, and it will show your stuff back, I guess, is what you can do for that. Um, I don't... I'm sure there's an easier way to do that, but I just don't know what it is. Um, you can also pan and tilt by using the buttons on the side. I forgot to mention that. Um, okay, I don't know what that was. Oh, if you press this button, the little circly arrow, it just recenters your focus point. So I set my focus point to here. If you click that, it refocuses to the center. So that's what that does. You can use the arrows, like I said, for this kind of movement. I just prefer to use the mouse button. It makes it so much easier once I discovered that I could just do that. Um, once you finish your build, you can save it. Um, do, you can do Control S or whatever, um, and you can save your build and come back to it later. So I've got a few builds that I can show you that I have had for quite a long time so uh, we'll not save for now so like this one it's kind of a silly boat but I've for the most part I just found pieces that looked really cool and just started putting them together so I just picked cool colors and stuff like that and just kinda of started putting the whole thing together so I've had this one for probably three or four years now. It's been a really long time since I started this one. So, it just shows you you can save it for a long time and stuff like that. Another model that I have is um, this Bionicle that I built. I particularly like it. No particular name for it. It just looks cool. So here I used a lot of the positioning, like the um, the hinge tool to rotate the piece around um, which is very helpful when doing bionicles and stuff like that um, another one that I have that I that was one of my first creations which is actually a model of one that I built out of real Legos which is just called the pistol rifle I don't know why I called it that but I was little then um, so as you can see, just kind of some pieces that I put together, very similar to what I built out of actual Legos. And um, yeah, the other fun, the other fun thing you can do is you can. Um, it, so it used to be that you could send your um, building stuff or your builds to Lego, and they would actually send you the parts with an instruction book in the box. It was cool. I didn't. I never got to do that because they stopped doing that before I could do it. So for so for this particular model, 
um, we can go into building guide and it um, shows you the steps which is cool and it like shows you what pieces you need and all sorts of stuff like that it's cool so pieces flying in from all directions to make this weird ish looking gun thing that I built and yeah very cool thing you can do. Another thing, um, you can go into view mode. I don't know how loud this is going to be. But um, you can basically change like the scenery. Um, change the background. And then you can take a screenshot of whatever you want. So up here, you do a screenshot. The other fun thing you can do is you can blow it up. So you can blow up the model. It should all come back together. There you go. And it just kind of starts to rebuild itself. Not in the most efficient way, but it's pretty cool. It's especially cool when you do that with a very large model, like the ship that I had built. That was cool. Um, and you go back to build mode and just work on it. So that is going to conclude it for this video thank you so much for watching please leave a like and subscribe as always um tell your friends about me um recommend me to whoever you want thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye